Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we appreciate you. We give you praise for a time such as this. Thank you, Father, for your loving kindness. Thank you, King of Glory, for your continuous grace and glory. We appreciate you. We magnify your holy name. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, we thank God for another day and we apologize for coming to you very late today. Uh, we hope that uh, we can do better in the coming days. Today we read from Second Kings chapter four, from verse one to seven, and it's uh, the background to this is uh, one of the wives of the sons of the prophet crying out to Elisha for help. Uh, we we'll just read quickly. He said, Now a woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet cried out to Elisha, saying, Your servant, my husband, is dead. And you know that your servant feared the Lord, and the creditors have come to take my two children to be his slaves. So Elijah said to her, What shall I do for you? Tell me, what do you have in the house? And she said, Your servant has nothing in the house except a jar of oil. Then he said, Go and borrow containers elsewhere for yourself. Empty containers for all your neighbors. Do not get too few. Then you shall come in and shut the doors behind you and your sons and pour into all these containers and you shall set aside what is full. So she left him and shut the door behind her and the sons. They began bringing the containers to her and she poured the oil. When the containers were full, she said to her sons, Bring me another container. But he said to her, there are no more containers then the oil stopped so she came and told the man of god and he said go sell the oil and pay your debt and your sons can live on the rest hallelujah so today we are speaking briefly on dealing with crisis dealing with crisis the wife of the sons of the prophet had a crisis in her hands she was bereaved yes we know she's a widow uh no source of uh, income because narrowly as the son of the prophet the prophet is taken care of by the people that you know they minister to uh, so yes she was the husband was in debt he was not alive to pay and the debtors need to get their money in business after all for that and her sons are now uh, a replacement for what she owes um, how does she deal with it no husband and all of that it was a crisis for her it was a challenging situation for her and she cried to Elisha so have you ever found yourself in a situation where you just did not know what to do Maybe you have a big decision to make. Maybe you are faced with a major crisis. Maybe you have a child that seems um, difficult to manage, perhaps wayward. Maybe you did something stupid, you know, and you, you are dealing with all of that, okay? Now, in that mess, in that situation, you are not just in a crisis you are also faced with not knowing how to get out of that challenge that is the situation of this woman today but you see like we discussed days ago when david faced a similar challenge scripture said david went to the lord his god he faced a challenge he cried to god and god who is a friend that never fails was there to be his strength his buckler his protection is everything you see oftentimes the biggest drawback that we face in crisis is where to start from or where to even exit from, or where to start this process from. But one of the easiest way to get out of that challenge is what this son of the wife of the sons of the prophet has shared with us today. Ask. 
ask. David faced a crisis. What did he do? He asked. Hallelujah. So, so what this text draws our attention to is that in a life with all this contradiction, in the midst of crisis, coming face to face with challenges, issues that we can't fix, our best option is to just ask. Start with asking. You don't need to know what to do, and that's why you are asking. No need to, you know, pile it in. Keep it to yourself. Ask. The second thing we pick from the sons of the prophets, and again, reflected in David's life, little wonder David is the man after God's own life, uh, after God's own heart, is she listened. The prophet gave an instruction. She followed to the letter. She listened. Because she missed out any part of the instruction, she would not deliver because she delivered based on what she had. She listened. She asked. The prophet gave a seemingly interesting solution. Uh, some of us can call it foolish or impossible. Mad. Ah, ow. You know, the owl of our life. The owls of our life. But she did. She listened. And next, after listening, she operated on it. So she asked. She listened. And she trusted. And ensured that she did what was asked of her to do. David did the same thing when he came back from the war. Her wives and sons and daughters have been carried away. And what did David do? David went to the Lord his God. He asked, shall I pursue? Will I overcome? And God said yes too. And he followed God's desires. He listened. And God gave instructions. He followed. He trusted God. And he surely did get back what was taken. Beloved, God loves you. He wants to work with you. And he needs you to know that no matter the crisis you face, he stands at the door of your heart asking for you to open up so you can reason together. Call the numbers on the screen. We'll be there to speak with you, work with you, listen and pray with you. And we know that our God will answer our prayers. Answer by fire. God bless you and keep you. And make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. Amen. Amen.